Greetings guys, Jaquel here from Ladybug Natural Solutions. I'm a certified health and wellness consultant who specializes in weight management, weight loss, and hormonal health. Greetings, my name is Viana, also known as Sharanya. I've been practicing yoga for about three and a half years. I'm a yoga instructor, just got my certification about three months ago. And yes, this is my journey now. At Ladybug Natural Solutions, we're gonna be bringing special events as far as yoga, uh, wellness training, breathing training, uh, outside activities such as ATVing, uh, archery, and uh, hiking uh, to bring everyone together to get people back outside, living their lives, and living their best selves. up at your hand as well. And on your next exhale, you can meet me back into forward fold and switch over to the other side. Your head, your chin is a little bit tilted towards the neck. And just breathe. And if you want to challenge yourselves a little more, you can bend forward. If you want to challenge yourselves with a straight spine, make sure your spine is not being rounded. Actually, I'll challenge you guys. <laughs> Move, just, you guys can go as far as you can. should be feeling this a little bit in your gluteus, medius. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next exhale, you can place your foot back onto the ground and switch sides. And again, go as far as you can go without tilting, without rounding off your spine. Making sure your shoulder blades are in. Twist your, yeah, if you can, <laughs> as far as you can go, twist your 
um, right leg behind your left leg. And then you also want to cross your arms to make sure your right is over left. And again, it's like pigeon pose. If you want to challenge yourself, you can do the same thing. about sometimes you have those funny moments just laugh at yourself and on your next exhale you can unfold and switch to the other side make sure you're lifting up Extender, make sure you try to just put a little micro bend in your arms and it's a little bit more challenging as well and again if this is also too hard for you can skip out on it you can sit down you can also bend your knees if you like that's a little bit but don't sink into your shoulders and on your next exhale you can be back into your 
Styles pose is just like forward fold, but instead you flip your palms and make sure your wrists are here. And you pretty much just chill out in this pose and recuperate. step out your feet a little wider as well and you can also bend your knees if that helps too and inhale lift up halfway exhale full inhale reach your arms over your head your right your right foot on a 90 degree angle and make sure your back foot is pointed towards me wait no sorry yeah it's actually face the um, opposite direction or on a 60 degree angle it's up to you and you want to lift your arms and it's as far as you can go as well and you want to make sure you're not sinking into the front too much. So if this is your if this is your warrior two, then this is your warrior two. If this is your warrior two, this is your warrior two. You want to make sure that your spine is still straight. Make sure that your foot is pointed straight as well. And then that there's no micro bend. I mean that there is a micro bend for my hyper extenders on the back knee. And if you can, just go a little deeper.
much for me. So from here, if your tree pose is literally right here, and this is where you are, this is your balance, that's all you need. If you can also you can also keep your foot on the ground as well. But you never want to place your foot on your knee joint. So it either has to be below the knee or above the knee. And you want to make sure that your knee is actually pointed outwards to as much as you can go. Make sure that your feet, again, are placed right under your knees. Your palms are on the ground. And you want to lift your tailbone while also maintaining a straight spine. Making sure that your knees aren't knocking over, so bring them in a little closer. Making sure you want to root through your back, your hands, and you want to root through your feet. That's your foundation. That's your support. And your head. And when you're ready, you can lift your tailbone and lift your torso. If you can, if you want to interlace your hands under as well, again making sure your knees aren't, you know, opening up like a lotus, you want to keep them straight. And on your exhale you can release and come back onto your back. Or robot arms, you can call them. Place the back of your arms on the ground. If it's not too wet, you don't have to. You can leave it there. And just windshield wiper your legs. To neutralize the spine. like to practice this because it prepares you for death pretty much and sometimes we're not really ready to think about these things or we're too worried about it but that's usually how yogis get into the practice of it but this is optional you don't have to you can decide to just you know just lay on your back so you don't have to do this but I find this to, to be very helpful more so for women <laughs> for like back problems and stomach problems but you can also lay like this as well. And just have your feet showing. If that feels okay for you. If not, you guys can continue to hang out. At the 
end of the practice, we do Shavasana, which is court pose. And this is just a different variation of it. After every yoga practice, you want to come into this pose to let everything settle in into your muscles. Relax your toes. Your eyes are already closed. Close them. Relax your ankles. Relax your shins. Relax your calves. to this guided meditation. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Make yourself comfortable either seated or lying down and take a deep breath in. Hold for a count of three and exhale slowly and fully all the way out. And continue to take deep breaths in, holding for a count of two or three, and exhaling fully and slowly all the way out. and allowing your natural breathing pattern to emerge. Bring your awareness to the top of your head and notice the relaxing feeling as you release tension from your crown and moving down over your face the back of your head and to your shoulders and continuing to use the breath 
releasing all tension from the shoulders, noticing them as they fall all the way down. And notice your chest expanding with the in-breath. And releasing tension on the out-breath. Breathing deeply through your nose. Calmly and fully. Allowing any self-talk to just pass. Without interaction. Suspending all judgment. Notice how your body responds to your breathing now. Just observe. As we sit here with the breath and full awareness on the body, we can expand our physical awareness and increase our presence through observation in the present moment. So continuing to take several deep breaths in just as you are here and now
and bringing your awareness to your body. Notice the relaxation and ease within your body. As your presence expands, Now gathering your attention, just observe your body and your experience right now. And now, as this meditation session is drawing to a close, the time has come to return to wakefulness in a calm and controlled manner. And in your own time, when you're feeling ready, you may end this meditation by opening your eyes and returning to your day. And Ladybug Natural Solutions will be bringing um, once a month yoga events. And also we're going to be touching upon strength, toning, meditation, zenning out, and pretty much flexibility and strength. To get more information, you can log on to www.ladybugnaturalsolutions.com to find out more. And you can also uh, access questions on the website. And you can also email me at jaquel at ladybugnaturalsolutions.com. I thank you all. Have a great day.